Hey guys, Ricky here. Just gonna do my quick recap of Black Lightning Season 3, Episode 4, Quattro. Um, this was a um, a really good episode. It starts off with Lynn pretty much, I don't know, it's like she's on like the limitless drug or something. She's just coming completely unhinged. And at first it it kind of blindsided me and then as we got to the end and we end up finding out that Odell is just the biggest dick <laughs> like okay for so long I was under the impression that Tobias Whale was just you know the worst guy the worst man the one thing you can say about Black Lightning is they they know how to do villains properly they, because I always thought that Tobias Well was the best villain of all the CW, Arrowverse, Universe. Like, I honestly thought they did Tobias Well really good. And once they locked him up and he wasn't the focus anymore, I was like, man, you know, I don't know what this show's going to do after that, coming off of it. And now, I feel like... Odell is going to be the one to take us through it because he's been plotting everything. When they showed at the end of the episode, cut to the end of the episode, right? And they show that Odell was actually the one that was slowly giving green light to Lynn and then had been like showing it to her through like those weird, and I had already hated them, right? The, the weird, the way that they project the, the stuff in the pit or they call it the pit right w whatever that lab that lynn works in they had been giving it to her and uh showing it to her in screens and giving it to her slowly in her drinks and in her food and all of that stuff it was like man this guy's maniacal not only that but then the way that he's brainwashing jen right now and jen jen is always i feel i feel like it was really good that they've that they're going down this brainwashing, you know, little branch that they're branching off to. I feel like it's good that they're going down there because I've always felt like Jennifer was the easiest. She was always really easy to influence, whether it was boyfriend she had or ideas she had. She's just, she's been very easy to manip manipulate. And having Odell get it... And, what makes her dangerous is not only has she been so easy to manipulate, but also she's the most powerful out of the entire Black Lightning family. So Odell really giving her attention and the fact that everyone else has started to split up, you know, with Nyssa having her own, her own, you know, beautiful loft, right? With her having her own place and... Jeff and Lynn being in the pit for, you know, the first three episodes, which I guess was like a month or so. And then Jennifer just having to go her own way. Like, it, they've done a really good job splitting up the family. So it makes sense with, with when o you find out that Odell is actually having this great influence on her. It, it all tracks. Because I feel like as, as much as Jefferson has done a good job, you know, trying to keep Freeland together, it shows that as great of a dad as he is and he is they've always they've always done a great job showing that he's not doing a great job keeping his family together and that i think is going to be the crux of the show where he finds out that hey it you know we, i need to take care of my house before I, I need to fix my house before i actually work on fixing the city and he needs to bring the family back in together because his wife is over there drug addicted the way only Bradley Cooper got in Limitless right his daughter's over there with the shapeshifter chick right and and the freak out that she had where she turned into you know the younger little Asian girl that was great like that was I, I don't know it just it, it threw me for a loop and, and Jefferson's reaction he was just like what the hell it was hilarious. I thought that was cool. And that was good. But he just... I feel like Jefferson needs to focus on bringing it all back together. So it was a great episode. It 
like I said, the, what, what the show does well is it does villains well. It does racial commentary and social commentary very well. And it, it has me super invested in the characters. So I'm really looking forward to what's going to happen next week. Uh, Gamby was in it more, which is good. I, I love seeing Gamby. Um, and I think that was pretty much it. I just, I wrote down, oh, and Chief Henderson got kicked out of his precinct, which, why does Henderson not get enough time? He's a really great character. I love watching that guy. So, you know, I hope I see more of him. He redeemed himself. Everyone's doing well. Odell is, oh my God, asshole. I hate that guy. So it was a great episode, all in all. I, if I were to rank it, I'd give it a strong 8 out of 10. So as of right now, um, it's been my favorite show of the week. So really good. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I do all the CW shows as well as Watchmen on HBO. So tag along with me on those videos if you guys want. If not, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching.